Hey everybody, welcome to Coach Johnson's ba 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 PE time. We all know that PE stands for participation education. And today I'm gonna to educate you on how you can participate in a really fun game that the whole family can play. We've got a lot of family reunions coming up. Hopefully we'll have them this year. And during that time, you just need a table like this one and a ball. And the ball just has to bounce well. As long as it bounces, you can use it. In fact, you can use a big giant ball like this one because man, it bounces really well. You can even use really small things like this tennis ball, which makes the game kind of tricky to play. You've got to be really fast. This is probably advanced level to play something with that. We got a ball like this that we won in a school competition uh, fundraiser, and it bounces really well. It's a, this is almost a perfect size and perfect ball to play with. You can even challenge yourself with playing a bounce with a bouncy ball. It bounces, and this would make the game super quick. This would be like expert level. You can even use a basketball if you have one at home, which most people do. It works really well too. And lastly, the ball we like to use is one I got out of the PE closet. Da -da -da -da. And it's a six inch playground rubber ball. This by far is the best one to play with. And to play, the server does what we call a fair serve. On a fair serve, they just get it started. It's not a trick serve. It's not trying to get anybody out. They just get the ball rolling, if you will. Once the game starts, you go in order. So if you're playing with grandma and grandpa, your aunts and uncles and cousins, you just have to figure out which order they will all participate. And when you know that order, that's how it has to go each time. So if I hit it, then my wife has to hit it, then my youngest son, then my oldest son, then back to me, then wife, youngest, oldest, me, wife, da, 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 you get it, right? So if you mess up on your turn, you don't get to participate anymore and you're out of the rotation. Then there's only gonna be maybe three people left and they play until there's only two people left and you play until one person messes up and then there's only one left. So we're gonna go on a field trip and my family and I are gonna show you how to do this right now. All right, we're outside ready to play table ball. Just so you see here, we've got a regular like picnic table and we love playing on this. It makes the game really tricky, but you can play on anything. We got a little teeny card table here. It makes it super challenging because your surface area is smaller, so you have to hit it really precise. Here, we got a regular size card table. You might recognize this one from Coach Johnson's ba 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 PE time. This is our preferred table to play on, but like I said, we're gonna try this new long one back here. You can see my family is lined up ready to participate in age order. My wife is actually 13 days older than I am. So she's gonna hit first, and then it would be me, then my son, my daughter, my middle son, and then there's my second to the youngest son. My youngest little guy, he's actually doing the filming. I'm right here, guys, don't worry. Yeah, we're not worried. So let's talk about some rules. The ball can hit the top of the table as many times as it happens. It can even roll. It has to fall down and bounce, and then you have to hit it. You only get one hit. A double hit, you're out. Two-handed hit, you're out. Only one hand. Once it rolls off, let it bounce, and then hit it back on. It has to hit the top. If it hits the edge, it doesn't count. All right, we're ready to play. All right, I'm gonna do a fair serve. We call a fair serve something where the ball bounces at least twice on the table. Because when you're serving, you don't want to hit it super hard and make it hard for them to return. You are just getting the ball going. If someone gets out, the person that would have hit it next will be the next server. Here we go. So in this game, you want to anticipate where the ball is going to go. You want to be on the right side. So I'm on this side because I knew she'd be over there. And then my son was over there because I hit it. You gotta be quick on your feet and pay attention where the ball's going and who is hitting it. Now I'm on this side. Nice. Hey, remember, if somebody gets in your way, Whoa, you can man. call a fault and then they can reserve it. All right. 
Good sportsmanship. Good game. Good job. watching everything so much. Everybody's participating so well. It's great. Okay, keep playing, guys. Oh, oh he made it. She made it. Nice. Oh, good rally, guys. Oh, right on the edge. Remember, if it hits the edge, it doesn't count. We're down to three. Oh, come. Another thing in this game, you cannot carry the ball. I love that sportsmanship. Awesome. Carrying is where you kind of catch it with one hand and then move it. So make sure you don't carry the ball. All right, we're down to two. See if they can switch sides or move the ball around. It looks like it's kind of like ping pong right now. Oh, there's a switch. There's a switch. Oh! oh. Mom wins. Good game, Mom. Good game, everybody. Pretty cool game, right? Well, thanks for joining us today on Coach Johnson's ba 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 PE time. Um, hopefully, you guys can now participate in this game. If you've got a group of really athletic people then this, can, this is perfect. You can go super fast pace. And if you're not so athletic and you're kind of in the beginning phases, you can play really slow and take it kind of easy. This is one of those games where it can move with skill level. You can go super fast or super slow. And that's why it's great for everyone to participate. So hopefully you enjoy table ball. Play as much as you can. It's great exercise. It gets good eye-hand coordination. And it makes your brain have to remember the order of whose turn is next. So take care and stay healthy. We'll talk to you guys later. Dun, 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 dun. Outtake time. Hey, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong. Hi. Don't laugh. Quiet on the set. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Coach Johnson's ba 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 PE time. We all know that PE stands for precipitation that's why why did you mess me up it's not precipitation participation partis participation my son said precipitation now i got that in my brain participation okay yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> fell hey everybody welcome to coach johnson's ba 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 pe time we all know that pe stands for placement education Wait, I stop. I don't know, am I doing placement?